Hi, I'm Cynthia from Arby's Cafe, and today I have Sherry with me. Hi, Hi Sherry. Mm-hmm. How are you today? I'm good. How about you? Good, good. good. I just realized we have the same matching pendant. Right. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we love the shape, right? We do. <laughs> it's a beautiful, simple it shape. Is. Well, today we're talking about Swarovski, and we're talking about our new uh, Swarovski blend, and I'm very excited. Mm. Uh, first, because I love the colors that I choose. And the reason why I love them is uh, I mix the bicon with some Swarovski pearls. Mm-hmm. And the effect is completely different. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> we have fun with them. And we made a bunch oh, of jewelry yeah. and we would love to show you how, um, how we mix the colors. And then at the end, I will show you how to make um, this bracelet, which is made out of um, brick stitch. So I will show you just the samples, how to put those together. Beautiful. Yay. <laughs> okay, well, let's start on your side, Sherry. I love the necklace that you made with all those loop. Oh, well, when I saw the Cleopatra turquoise, oh. I fell in love with it, and I spilled it out onto a tray, and then I saw the Cleopatra gold. <laughs> <laughs> and so I spilled them both out and mingled them together and right. just fell in love with it. So I knew I had to make something with the two combined. Um, so I did this piece, um, and I did lots of simple loops. Mm-hmm. I used the one-step looper, which makes making multiple loops much faster. Uh, yes. And um, just just went to town making up links and then had so much fun mixing the two colors together. That's beautiful, and, and you made a tassel. Made the tassel. That goes with yeah. A really so gorgeous piece. Love, uh, love those colors. Oh, good. Beautiful colors. Good. And then I love rose gold and um, fell in love with this rose gold um, blend. And then we have the rose gold blend in the seed beads as well. Yes. So I mixed the two together for uh, this necklace. It and, it, and I think so it's gorgeous. Well. Yes. Yeah. It was so well together. Yes. And simple, just strong strands, mm-hmm. but super simple to make. So um, that yes. was a lot of fun. Oh, good, good. That's what we want is to have fun with our yeah. blends, right? Yeah. So what I did is I made a simple bracelet here with those this brown uh, blend, and I uh, kind of take the beads apart and just put three strands together, and I think it works really well. I think it's gorgeous. Um, what I love is uh, right angle, and I wanted to try with one of our blend, and I love this one. Can it look winter, it icy? It really yeah. does. It, it's so icy, and the, the blue plays um, yes. different tones, so yes. it just is stunning. Exactly. And then I made this bracelet with the new um, Swarovski iridescent red. And we have a story about um, those uh, pearls because we had a contest to give a nickname to those new pearls. And we had a lot of uh, entries and a lot of people uh, gave some nickname and it's Renee that won the contest. Mm -hmm. And her nickname was uh, Luna Sunset. I think it's really Very cute. Very fun. I think it describes <laughs> it really well. It's beautiful. It's really cute. So I used, um, I thought with those pearls, uh, the blend that works really well is the um, this one, the rose gold, mm. and then the um, beads that goes uh, really well with the mm. seed bead blend. Too. Clearly rose. Yes. Yeah, and beautiful. actually, I didn't use the big size uh, blend. I used the oh, three millimeters on the side. Yes. Okay. I think it's it's, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Very yeah, lacy it's looking. Yes. It? Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, so we have other colors here. And one of my favorite is this purple one, the fuchsia. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's like a party. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I love those green and purple together. And then we have some black and white. It's more elegant. And here I made another bracelet, the brick stitch style. And I, I think it's really elegant. It's stunning. Yes. It's stunning. Very small beads. It's just beautiful. Yes, it could be for a wedding, mm-hmm. a wedding bracelet oh, too. Yeah. Yeah. And Beautiful. like you, I love mm-hmm. the Cleopatra gold <laughs> blend. <laughs> so I made a, a tubular a herringbone bangle. And those colors, they are beautiful. They? Yes. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love them. So then I wanted to play and do something completely different. So I used the Sunshine Forest and I went really in, in complete direction. I thought, what about if I put some kind of yellow mm-hmm. it's hard to describe kind this color yeah greenish yes <laughs> i love it i love this color Beautiful. and i thought can i work with that yeah. blend it works really well mm-hmm. i was so excited so happy to do and here in between i use the demi uh, tohos 
Oh, beautiful. So they're very, very small very beads. Very small. They're great to put in between. I think that looks wonderful. Very I fine. I think so. Yeah. Yes. I, I really, uh, I had a lot of fun with that piece. Love it. <laughs> Those are my colors. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> so now we like to show you how to do this uh, brick stitch. And um, I should put my glasses on first. And I started here um, to do a little sample. So first, when you do a brick stitch like that, you have to do a ladder stitch. And I'm not going to show you, you now, but in the Learning Center, we have some great handy tip and video how to show how right. to make those. So and then I, I did as the brick stitch, uh, did those two rows here. So I'm going to show you how to add the crystal here. And so let's say you could start, this is your first row, okay. and then you start to add a crystal. And when you do a brick stitch, your first beads, they're going to be two. You have to put two beads at the beginning. And here you see at, at the crystal, I like to add a teeny seed bead mm, on okay. top of them and at on the bottom. I think it makes the crystal pop a little it more. Does. So I'm grabbing two, one uh, seed bead, one crystal, one seed bead. And remember, you have to start with two beads. So let's say this, um, this tree of beads is actually one bead, okay, right? as one. Yes, okay. as one. So we need the second one, which will be another seed bead, a crystal, and another seed bead. And then, like you do a brick stitch, you go under the first thread, you pull it, and your bead's going to sit like that. Okay, they kind of sit side by side then. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now, so you went under the thread and now you have to go back on in the seed bead and make sure that you don't go back under the thread, right? Okay. So you go over the thread, go inside the seed bead, the crystal and the other seed bead and they're very small mm -hmm. like that. You pull and you did your first two beads. Oh, and fine. then it's just one bead. So you take a seed bead, a crystal, another seed bead and you go into the next one and you do the same let me pull in here first you go under the seed bead here it is really small like that like that and you keep going and that's all. Okay, easy. That's all you have okay. to do, yes. And then the next row, you can put some more of the um, eight art seed bead, like I did on this one here. I love how the, the bead size varies. They're yes. all small beads, but yes. they um, vary quite a bit, and it just adds so much texture to the bracelet. It's yes. just beautiful. And what I love also is to add a complete different shape like those uh, bugle beads. Fun. And I did the same, so I put a seed bead on the bottom and on the top. Okay, as a group, so group yes. one. Okay. So one thing that I realized, you have to be careful, um, I used here another blend, and the beads are the same uh, size. This is a four millimeters, but you see how it's all wrinkly? And I think it's because those round beads, they're too big, okay. and they don't sit very well on top so I wouldn't use big beads like that and to show you the difference on this one I use here the same size bead but when I wanted to use some other crystal I use a smaller size oh, okay. I went down a size so then it's flat and okay. it, it works better than this one is way too wrinkled and then the other mistake that I made is this one where I use the three millimeters uh, bead, but then I use also a very, very small seed bead here. Those are way too small because then your crystal, they start to be way too crowded oh, okay. on top of it. Okay. So you really want to add a bead that is a little bigger, like this one here is an eight art bead. Okay, so it allows them to, to lay uh, together a little yes. nicer without ga yes. gathering them up too it, much. Okay. Give them more space okay. to sit on, on top of okay. the bead. And then when you want to do the uh, round bead here, 
it's really easy it's just as a normal seed bead so those are really fun to make um, i love this technique i tend to make a lot of bracelets mm -hmm. like that they're quick and, and fun to make and it's just a brick stitch technique beautiful <laughs> thank you <laughs> Thank you, but I hope you enjoyed this uh, video about our new seed bead blend. And uh, thank you for coming, thank Sherry. Thank you. I love your piece. Thank it's you. It's really Eddie. gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks. Fun to work with, these, these beads. Oh, good. Beautiful. Oh, good. And thank you for joining us today at Arby's Cafe. And make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter to see all our new beautiful ideas and see our great promotion. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt.